Yes, you are correct. Yeah. Okay. Um, can someone send me the answer for this one? Another one? Another person? Yes, uh, Tushar, you're also correct. Let me explain this. Now, SGLT, what is this? What does this stand for? Sodium glucose transporter. Yeah. Sodium glucose. Glucose co transporter. Uh, I need to add the word inhibitor here. So what this SGLT2 inhibitor does is it inhibits this channel, okay? This channel, SGLT, is found in the GI tract and in the kidneys. But in the GI tract, you get SGLT1. In the kidneys, you have SGLT2. So what happens is this drug is going to inhibit This drug, SGLT2 inhibitor, is going to inhibit the glucose and sodium reuptake in the PCT. This drug is going to inhibit this. Okay. Then what happens is the sodium level, the sodium is going to go all the way to the DCT. There's going to be high sodium presenting. And over here, what is sensitive to sodium related to the RAS system? The macula densa. The macula densa detects low sodium. Right now, it is going to be deactivated. So that means there's going to be low renin low angiotensin 2 and when you have low angiotensin 2 there is reduced vasoconstriction of efferent arterioles okay and this means okay let me i'm going to draw the uh, efferent and the afferent here is the efferent arterioles. These will be less con contracted. That means, will the pressure here be high or low? Hyperfiltration pressure? No. Low. The hyperfiltration pressure is going to be low because the efferent arterioles, they are dilated so the pressure in the in this region in the glomerulus is going to be reduced and so the blood will keep flowing this is important because this will reduce nephropathy this delays nephropathy okay this delays nephropathy. Once you're done, I'll try the next question. 